On February 15, 1992, shooting began at Patriots Point in Charleston, South Carolina on the most ambitious film to date for Mark Adams. In over a year and a half and in three different cities, the project slowly started to piece together until it finally became a single entity. And its name is Judgment Day. The first location was Patriots Point in Charleston, South Carolina. Here is the largest naval and maritime museum with five ships permanently docked and open for tours. The USS Yorktown aircraft carrier proved to be an impressive vessel to shoot on for both exteriors and interiors. The merchant ship Savannah was also a perfect choice to be a research vessel for the team of scientists investigating the mysterious sphere. The destroyer and submarine also became backdrops for the fictitious naval base at the beginning of the mission. Many scouting trips to Patriots Point followed and shooting locations were selected. Test footage was shot on the ships in preparation for principal photography. With the first shot taken on the USS Yorktown on the morning of February 15th, the long road to completion was underway. I just got promoted a month ago for lieutenant. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's great. Shooting at Patriots Points encompassed six days over a period of two months, involving over 24 hours of driving back and forth between Savannah and Charleston. Luckily, bad weather or equipment failure never interfered with the Charleston shoots, and these scenes were completed on time. Hello there, hi there, hi there, hi there. I'm doing a mic test. How are you doing? We're here on the Savannah for uh, the third day of shooting for Judgment Day. And uh, it's a beautiful day out today, isn't it? Uh, it's just a wonderful day. How are you doing? And, uh, you know, you've just told him, well, he just walked away and he hasn't come back. He's like, he just walked away and didn't come back. And yes, it seems like he heard, it seemed like he heard something. You got to see like, where's everybody? Action. You mean he just walked away and never came back? Maybe you got seasick again. Chad, there's no reason for you to blame yourself. I don't know. What was I supposed to do? Why did they choose me? What are you talking about? Okay, cut. That's fine. Good, good. Okay, let's do your close-up then. Great. <laughs> um, let's get the mic off of you. Put it on her. I just sound like a director, don't I? It's kind of scary. Shooting continued in Savannah, Georgia, including a scene involving the study cam system. The location was an abandoned power generator building, destined to become the new home of the SCAD video department. It was a perfect setting for an abandoned warehouse in which John Wakefield goes for amnesia treatment. This same location was used for the shooting of a surreal scene where an apparition informs John that he is the chosen one. The open building was pumped full of smoke by a fog machine and the apparition was backlit for the ghostly appearance. This setting was also used to shoot the sphere explosion in a most simplistic way. However, the results were impressive. Model work continued using the fog machine to simulate the underwater look in what's called a dry shoot. The last major shoot took place on April 11, 1992 at the SCAD video building in the online three-quarter inch edit suite. The suite was converted into the Savannah's scientific control room where the unmanned drones and sphere are being closely monitored. At the end of that day, the last major hurdle remained, the task of putting all these pieces together into one final film.